On August 27, 2006, Com Air Flight 5191, a Bombardier regional jet, crashed during takeoff from the Bluegrass Airport in Lexington, Kentucky. Just after 6 a.m., still an hour before sunrise, the crew of the Atlanta-bound flight received a clearance to taxi to runway 22. The taxi route would take them across the arrival end of nearby runway 26. Only 3,500 feet long, runway 26 had no edge lights and was limited to day VFR operations. After pushing back from the gate, the crew taxied the short distance to the threshold of runway 26. But instead of proceeding across 26 and continuing on to runway 22 as their clearance allowed them to do, they held short of the smaller unlit runway and called for a takeoff clearance. Alone in the tower cab, the controller verified that the assigned runway 22 was clear, but didn't notice that the Comair jet was in the wrong place. He cleared it for takeoff, then turned his attention to other tasks. It was a critical moment. Failing to notice the runway signs and markings that should have tipped them off to their mistake, the pilots lined up on runway 26 and set takeoff power. By the time they realized the problem, it was too late. Struggling to get into the air, the jet ran off the end of the runway at over 130 knots. Of the 50 passengers and crew members on board, only the first officer survived. In the aftermath of the accident, the NTSB pointed to several contributing factors, including the pilot's non-pertinent cockpit conversation during taxi and the controller's failure to monitor the takeoff. But in this case, it was ultimately the pilot's failure to maintain situational awareness and take simple steps to verify their position on the airport that sealed their fate.